Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So with double XP right around the corner, beginning February 22nd to February 25th, I decided it was a pretty good time to make a top seven double XP skills guide. And so pretty much what this video is, is gonna be me showing you seven of the best skills to train during a double XP weekend. And I'm not really gonna be showing you any methods of training, just simply what skills you should train and why. So anyway, without further ado, let's get on with the video. So starting at number seven, I have agility. And so I decided to put agility at number seven, simply because it is one of the most annoying skills in the game to train. And as you probably already know, what the best skills to obviously train during double XP weekend are the viable skills. And, you know, you could kind of think of agility as a viable skill. Um, like, you can buy the Silverhawk Feathers, which can get you a ton of agility XP. So, I really decided to put agility at number 7, simply because it is really annoying to train. The XP rates aren't really great. I believe you can only get, like, up to 200k XP per hour at tops. And this is really click intensive as well. So just getting this skill over with during double XP weekend is really useful. And the fact that it has the buyable option in the Silverhawk Feathers, even though it is extremely expensive, um, it still can be pretty useful to train during double XP weekend using these Silverhawk Feathers. And one other thing that I would like to mention about this is that you actually get ottomans from the Treasure Hunter and so if you, you probably will have collected up quite a few ottomans, um, like I had about 3.5 thousand ottomans for about two months worth of treasure hunter. And I ended up cashing all of those ottomans in for about 650 untradeable silverhawk feathers. And I uh, believe I calculated it and this would equal out to about 1.6 million XP roughly. So, I mean, you can get some free Silverhawk Feathers using the Ottomans, which is pretty nice. Um, and if, if you have played regularly and haven't used your Ottomans, it's a pretty good option to buy using your Ottomans. Because um, you get some pretty nice free Agility XP while you're training other skills during Double XP Weekend. So now at number 6, I have Smithing. And Smithing is one of those viable skills. And along with the smithing rework, there are some pretty great um, training methods out there for smithing. Um, you can actually get up to about 1.5 mil XP per hour at 99. That is without double XP, so the XP rates can be pretty insane during double XP weekend. And smithing can be fairly expensive to train as well. So, uh, for example, you will probably want to make some of the armor sets or armor burial sets which is pretty expensive and gets you a lot of xp you get 80,000 xp for burying a plus five armor piece and then it would be doubled to 160 so um, the xp is really fast with smithing and it costs a lot so you know double xp weekend is a perfect time to actually bury these armor sets and then uh, you know get a bunch of xp per hour and just finish smithing um, saving half your costs. Now I'm not going to go into the best smithing methods in this video, but I will be placing a link to skilling guides for each skill that I mention in this video. So uh, check out the description for all of these skilling guides of these seven skills. Moving on to number five, we have crafting. And crafting is another viable skill, and it's actually really expensive to get crafting from level 1 to 99. So taking a general method, it will cost around about 13 coins per experience, meaning that to get to 99, it will cost, you know, roughly 120 mil to 200 mil. Um, so doing this during double XP weekend to shorten the amount of time that you're doing it by half, as well as the costs by half, it is really important and it will help you out so much. Crafting is a fairly slow skill as well. Um, like some of the better methods would get you about 
400 to 500,000 XP per hour, but those methods would obviously be much more expensive. So anyway, being able to half your time of how long you actually have to spend crafting, as well as saving anywhere from 70 to 100 mil, it really helps a lot, um, which makes it a really good skill to train during double XP weekend. And now at number four, we have Fletching, and Fletching is an extremely good skill to train during double XP weekend. The XP rates for this skill are insane. You can actually finish this uh, extremely fast during double XP weekend, especially making the broad arrows. And it doesn't cost too much as well, it costs about 80 to 100 mil. So having this to 50 mil to get a 99, it does sound like a lot of money, but really it, it's not much at all to get a skill all the way to 99. And it won't take much time at all. I remember when I was training Fletching during double XP weekend, I started at level 80 around that, and I was going to be making broad arrows all the way to 99. And I was able to get to 99 in just about 5 hours. And it's really not too click intensive. You just need to click on the broad arrow tips and then click your spacebar to start the uh, process. And so it's pretty easy and it's a uh, really great XP per hour. And it just makes it a lot more enjoyable because you're actually seeing your levels going up fairly fast even at the high levels. And at number three, I have construction. And construction is an extremely good skill to train during double XP weekend. First of all, it is really tedious to actually train this skill. It's a lot of clicking, it's really click intensive. And the XP rates, you know, they're not too bad, but they're not that great. Also, this method is extremely expensive. It will cost anywhere from 70 mil to 150 mil to actually get this to 99. So being able to half that cost is really important and helps so much. And I remember when I was training this during double XP weekend, it was just the past one. I went to 99 by making making these floats and pawn brokers. And I had like 40,000 mahogany planks in my bank that I had to go through that weekend in order to get 99. So I couldn't imagine doing this without double XP weekend because that would literally just take so long and it, it's so boring. So it's nice just to grind the skill out during double XP weekend, saving so much time and so much money. And at number two, we have Herb Lore. And Herb Lore is another extremely good skill to train during double XP weekend. And it's mostly because Herb Lore is extremely useful for bossing and any kind of high level PVM for the overloads. Um, and if you did see in my top seven account goals for players that want to get into bossing, then you would have noticed that Herblore is one of those top seven account goals. Um, cause this helps so much if you're looking to get into bossing. So this should really be a priority for one of the top skills to train during double XP weekend. If you're looking into getting into PVM, the skill really isn't too bad to train either. Um, one tip that I would give um, is join the Portables Friend Chat or check out the Portables Friend Chat on Twitter and they will post the worlds where the portable well will be located. And so this will help you a lot. It can actually make an extra potion for you which will save on costs because Herb Lore is really expensive to train. And then you should get the Scroll of Cleansing, which is a scroll from Dungeoneering, and this will allow you to have a chance to save some of the items required to make the potion. So this will definitely help a lot for when you're trying to train Herb Lore. And like many of the other skills, Herb Lore will cost over 100 mil to get to 99. So it is really important to train it during a double XP weekend because it will save you so much money again. And now if you don't already have a high level in Herb Lore, I would recommend doing Herb Lore during this double XP weekend and getting it to at least 
94 so you can use a boost to get to 96 to make the overloads or you can just go straight to 96 um, so you can make those overloads and then you could just make overloads to 99 that is actually what I did I made a lot of overloads um, to get to 99 but um, it's a pretty good option and definitely a great option for this upcoming double XP weekend so now for the number one skill on double XP weekend and that is summoning so summoning is the number one skill because it is so useful for bossing or any kind of PVM and it can also be useful for skilling and so like the other skills Herblore is really expensive to train but not only that you need charms to train it as well so you know being able to save half of your charms as well as half of your money and half of your time it is so important I actually believe it takes about 200,000 crimson charms to get to 120 summoning and so you know training it during double XP weekend having and being able to save 100,000 crimson charms which will take you hundreds or even a few thousand hours to obtain so this really makes summoning a great skill to train during double XP weekend because you get to save so much stuff and also summoning is a really fast skill to train which also helps boost your motivation to actually train it and uh, grind it out during double XP weekend you can actually get 99 just in probably six or seven hours if you are all prepared for it and you have all the charms and everything um, so definitely you know plan it out if you are going to get this 99 because you know everything will be pretty expensive during double XP weekend um, so if you haven't already bought all your supplies then definitely do that now because it is getting really close to double XP weekend so anyway guys that is it for this video I will be posting skill guides to each of the skills that I have mentioned in this video and if you haven't already like I said earlier you will want to plan out your double XP weekend and buy all of the supplies for it just so you are all prepared to start putting in the gains during double XP weekend but anyway guys that is it for this video if you have any questions or comments please post them in the comments down below and like the video if you found it helpful and subscribe for more runescape 3 content anyway guys i'll see you in the next one peace